at the heart of every great mystical and religious tradition persists a secret universal truth. The Great Arcanum, a great deep secret mystery. Throughout history, it has been expressly forbidden to reveal the secrets of the Great Arcanum to the public, for it was a heresy, a person who practiced or had knowledge of hermetics. As almost everyone has heard of the term soulmate, not many have heard the term twin flame. Soulmates can be a lover, sister, brother, mother, father, children, or friend. It is a connection to your soul family with much love and understanding. A twin flame connection is a spiritual connection that is felt in the mind, body, and soul through what is called the Kundalini awakening. Kundalini is a Sanskrit word meaning life force energy that is coiled at the bottom of the spine. When you have met your twin flame, or have gone through a personal trauma, or through proper techniques taught by a master, we can experience a kundalini awakening. However, it can take years to occur naturally. This bioelectrical energy, kundalini, is written about in the 5,000 year old texts, the Mahabharata, Emerald Tablets, and the alchemical studies of the Great Arcanum. It is known as the 33rd degree in Freemasonry because there are 33 vertebrates that the kundalini energy has to rise up to get to the crown of the head where you become illuminated with the realization of God force energy that everything and everyone is connected to in this reality. After all, we are electric and this is our most powerful bodily capability that leads to generating life force energy. Through practice, a heart awakening or trauma, it can be directed up our spines through our chakra energy centers, elevating heart and brain activity. Through my vast research, I have found the same meaning portrayed in all religions, from Latin religar meaning union, written allegorically and hidden in artifacts using symbolism. For example, it is known as the seven chakras in Buddhism and Hinduism, the seven sins, the seven gateways to heaven, the rays of the crown on the Statue of Liberty, which is a direct depiction of the goddess Isis, originating from Inanna, Ishtar, the Sumerian goddess. It is a serpent climbing up Moses' staff, and what Christ represents on the cross. In Mecca, the Muslims spiral around the Kaaba seven times. Also, a law is found after the seventh gate. In the Kabbalah, the goal is to elevate through the Sephirot up the Tree of Life, in a zigzag serpent-like pattern, balancing the female and male brain hemispheres to get to the kether, crown. It is Adam and Eve with the serpent in the tree of knowledge. It is steps to higher levels of understanding and consciousness. Through the Kundalini awakening, before, during, or after, you crave for more knowledge and understanding of what is. You consciously or unconsciously start to balance your right and left brain hemispheres through knowledge, spiritual awareness, and overall lifestyle changes, which is either a result of a kundalini experience or leading up to one. It is in fact the metamorphosis of the human experience in its own right of the body, mind, and soul's evolutionary process, elevating us to higher understandings of who we are and how we relate to this planet. Although it can be a euphoric feeling at first, I have not yet read or heard of anyone having a smooth kundalini awakening because the knowledge is so overwhelming, as is the experience of this reality. It demands that you break through mental and emotional blockages, physical baggage, unveiling truths like layers of an onion, as well as lifestyle changes, and again, can take years or lifetimes to accomplish. From my own kundalini experience and wanting to know as much as possible about what I had and was experiencing, I began to do non-stop research on ancient history, alchemy, all religions, quantum physics, somatics, Fibonacci math, Pythagoras, astronomy, astrology, secret societies, both occult and political, healing frequencies, medicinal herbs, there is electromagnetic fields, ley lines, and so on all in hopes to find out what was happening to me. In the end of my diligent quest, I realized that all spiritual, female and male icons, written about in both religious and ancient texts, was the kundalini and twin flame destiny that we all have access to. Although at the same time, it is a life's work in practice for most, which makes a twin flame physical union a difficult and rare one. 
Once you have realized that the ultimate goal in alchemy, for example, is changing base metal into gold, it is in fact an allegorical meaning, and through the decoding of the alchemical drawings, this can be understood. The sun, male, gold metal, and the moon, female, silver metal, is another representation of the left and right brain hemispheres being balanced, known as the work of the great arcanum. As above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, soul the soul, Hermes Trismegistus. This passage is telling us that when we do the work on balancing ourselves, we could also find the same balance outside of ourselves with another being, which is defined as our twin flame. This is what Isis and Osiris, Shiva and Shakti, Jesus and Magdalene, as well as many other deities before represented, known as the Hiros Gemos, sacred marriage of the god and goddesses. The uniting of such twin flames is very powerful because of the multiple levels of connections between the two. It results in a telepathic and eminent feelings of energies of one another that are felt even when apart. It becomes the magnum opus, the work, and if there is enough understanding from both parties and they successfully unite in this lifetime, it becomes a higher mission that they will accomplish together. It is a spiritual science experience, an inner knowing of polarities of the negative and positive electrical forces of physics. It is nature, human nature, and it is something that the forces of nature will continue to lead you to time and again, lifetime after lifetime, no matter how painful, until we get it right. It is purely the forces of nature. The seven universal laws of Hermetics, originating from the Emerald Tablets, authored by Hermes Trismegistus, meaning the messenger of the three great ones, man, woman, and Holy Spirit, or God Force. Unfortunately, we have dogmas of material wealth, political, cultural, and religion embedded in our psyche from generations of programming. In addition to a tech age, which is further disconnecting us from nature. Let's not forget about all the toxins we are being bombarded with. In particular, the halides, fluorine, bromine, and chlorine that crystallize our pineal gland, third eye, making us third eye blind, one of the two master glands of the endocrine system, which is responsible for hormonal and neuron transmitters serotonin, melatonin, DMT, and is our antenna. These toxic halides diminish our will, alter our state of reality, lower our IQ, and make us more docile. Halides, chemicals, and heavy metals are in our food, water, and air, making it difficult for the body to stay healthy, to connect all the dots. We tend to forget and are not taught the hidden knowledge in the ancient calendars such as the Maya, Zeptepi, Kali Yuga, Gold, Silver, Bronze, and Iron Age, where in fact were record keepings of our celestial ecosystem. These calendars were very important to the ancients and to the Vatican, which is why they have the largest telescope in the world called Lucifer. They knew from certain planetary alignments that everything is cyclical and that every 2,150 years, a new constellation, zodiac system would begin and that the entire celestial system takes approximately 26,500 years to complete. From a scientific point of view, these planets that align create a magnetic push and pull exchanging energies that affect the electro energies of the Earth's electromagnetic grid ley lines that we are all connected to, increasing our energy centers and intellect. After all, the organ that holds the most electricity is our heart, which is why it gets measured through EKGs and where does it get its electrical energy from. In conclusion to this passage, I believe that the shadow government that has been in control for centuries knew of these alignments that are well documented in the ancient calendars. I believe that this is why we are being bombarded with toxins and disinformation. Why sexuality is further becoming desensitized in the mainstream media. Our monetary system destabilized. 
our freedoms being stripped one by one. Propagated terror in other countries around the world, as well as our own, keeping us in a perpetual state of chaos. All this sabotage of our God-given birthright in the name of hoarding knowledge, greed, control, and sociopathic behaviors. The architects of this current matrix system have diligently put into play. We cannot and will not let the dark side of humanity destroy us. It is time to wake up, love humanity, and this human experience we are all sharing. Mother Nature is supporting us. Knowledge is power. Applied knowledge is freedom. The truth will always surface. Visit MaggieSolisticsNY.com for great health supplements.